What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of EGC 2021 video. Now I've been absent for the past couple of weeks because I've been finishing up classes and that's pretty stressful, so yeah, I'm back home. Internet might not be as good, but we are going to be streaming more and I'm going to be trying to get you guys some daily videos. But let's go ahead and get into this one. Today I'm going to be using this Belly Drum Kamoa team and it's something that I've been messing around with for a while uh, in my free time while I was finishing up my finals. but. Uh, essentially, it revolves around a Kamoa, which at plus one speed, which you can gain by going for a scale shot, will outspeed Dragapult. And it's got 60 HP because that's just what's <laughs> left over after I gave it max attack. Uh, we're running Belly Drum, Scale Shot, Drain Punch, and Poison Jab. We have a Charcoal, Torkoal with Eruption, Protect, Yawn, and Body Press standard set. Also, the Kamoa is carrying Overcoat because it's actually really nice versus Sun teams. Uh, Venusaur doesn't really have much to hit you with, and you're able to tank Sleep Powders and Spores at like no cost at all. It's like a built-in safety goggles, like you don't even care about Rage Powder, which is really nice. We have our own Venusaur. I could make this bulkier, but I, you know, I just ended up running Life Orb, Chlorophyll, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm. Modest max special attack because I when I'm running life orb with earth power I want to make sure I'm getting as much damage as I can versus incinerers. So I'll just max it out We're running a physically defensive Clefairy bold 252 252 4 Eevee light friend guard follow me helping hand icy wind protect standard stuff Now when I showed this to one of my buddies He said ew cuz I'm running light clay Regieleki and honestly I think right, right clay, <laughs> light clay Regieleki is kind of slept on. Like, I know that it was popular in the beginning, and then it fell off for more offensive sets. But I still think it's like a really solid set that people, you know, they need to respect it. So we're running Reflect to Light Screen Bolts, which Electrub, Light Clay, um, enough bulk to allow me to take an Earthquake after a Reflect, and enough speed to pretty much outspeed everything that isn't named Venusaur. And we have a Weakness Policy Stack Attacka, Gyro Ball Protect, Rock Slide, Trick Room. Uh, max HP, 244 attack, 4 defense, uh, 4 special attack, 4 special defense, and this guy is just going to be able to pretty much tank an Earthquake next to the Clefairy, set up Trick Room, and do whatever we really needed to. As you can see, it's a Sunroom team, so, you know, you know it's always going to be good. It's just the Kamo that I really want to showcase today. But yeah, uh, with that, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications, because I'm going to be bringing you some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite pseudo legendary? I'm a big fan of Kamoa. I think it's really slept on. A lot of people are like, yeah, I like Tyranitar, I like Dragonite, I like Dragapult. Kamoa is always like, ever since it's come out, it's been one of my favorites. So yeah, uh, Kamoa is interesting. Like, it's got like safety goggles built in. So versus this team, I actually don't feel terrible leading off with it. I do have to be really careful with the Galarian Zapdos and the uh, Grimmsnarl, but shouldn't be too difficult to set up a belly drum here. Especially if I lead off with Clefairy. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to lead off Kamoa Clefairy. And in the back, I do feel pretty comfortable bringing Torkoal Venusaur. So, just Sun plus the boys, you know? Do you like Jeff? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Man. This is always the tough part. Are they going to Sleep Powder my, my Clefairy? Because I can't allow them to... Can't really allow them to do that. Yeah, I'm going to follow me. Because next turn I can always get rid of the Grim Snarl anyways. Hey, they missed the Sleep Powder. That's what I want to see. Let me go ahead and... Yep. <laughs> That's all it took, right? That's all it took. You just miss one Sleep Powder and you forfeit? Okay, bud. Okay. That's all it took. All right, here. So, uh, we're facing off versus a team that's pretty hostile to Kamoa. I swear, every time I use this team, like, I, usually I only see, like, one fairy per team. But every time I use Kamoa, like, I see, like, at least two or three. Let me think here. Um, honestly... I think Trick Room is my best option here. I can just go Clefairy, Stack, Attacka. Torkoal in the back, and uh, I'm tempted to bring the Kamoa. I am tempted to bring the Kamoa, but I think I get a lot more value out of Venusaur anyways. Yep, 
Yeah, they, uh, they let off a double fairy. They're like, yeah, I'm not going to let you do that. Uh, and I'm actually pretty tempted to let them set up the trick room for me. I'm not going to lie. I think they're going to set up the trick room for me. Let me go ahead and go for a protect here. Assuming they're just going to, you know, fake out. Or actually, mm, let me helping hand. Let me helping hand. You're going to set up my trick room for me. As they leech seed me. Interesting. Okay. Um, that is like the last thing I expected them to click. I suppose I just Icy Wind. Eh, I'll just go for damage. Yeah, I thought they were just going to be like Babiri Berry and uh, set up the Trick Room. <laughs> Expecting me to Trick Room. I don't know why you would carry Leech Seed on a Comfe, to be honest. Alright, cool. I got rid of it. They got two seeds up and I wasted my Dynamax. That's not fun. But uh, I got some nice defense boost. It might not be the end of the world. It's the Galarian Moltres. I'm going to say they're not going to... I'm going to say they're just going to Dynamax here, actually. Let me go for the Protect and do a Max Rockfall on the Incineroar. Does they go for a sub? Okay. All right. Uh, now it's in my best interest to follow me and uh, Trick Room. Because a Helping Hand Rock Slide will pretty much do everything I need it to do. And I'm not, I'm not really scared of the Moltres at this point. Unless they flinch me, of course, then I'm very scared. All right, there it is. And now I'm going to do what's known as a pro gamer move. I'm going to go ahead and double out into Venusaur and Torkoal. Even though I'm dropping my defenses, uh, I'd rather not have this <laughs> not have this Moltres have like infinite recovery. Okay, cool. Let me go for an eruption and a sludge bomb on the Grim Snarl. My whole goal here is to get rid of Grim Snarl this turn and then get in the uh, the stack attacker. Spirit Break. Don't mind that much. Um, let me go for a Yawn on the Moltres. And... Because Yawn will go before the Substitute. And I'll just Sludge Bomb Grimmsnarl again. And I think if Moltres goes to sleep, it's pretty hard to lose with Stack Attacka. I would like to have my Venusaur go down this turn, though. Ooh, they Protect. Okay. Um, my grand prediction is they're going to sub up this turn. So I can go stack here for the Venusaur, assuming they fake out my Torkoal. Yeah. Because they saw, they just saw the yawn. They're gonna fake out the Torkoal. Max airstream. I don't know why you'd click that. Oh wait, that makes sense. <laughs> what am I saying? All right. Uh, let me go ahead and yawn Moltres here. Hmm. Actually, how likely am I to survive if I get in Clefairy and Trick Room right now? Ooh, pretty likely. Come on. Nice. Okay. Uh, now I can click Rock Slide. And that should knock this thing out. But I think what I'd rather do is double out into Moltres, or not Moltres, Torkoal and Venusaur. Because I'm going to lose both of them. And then I get Untaunted on Michael Fairy. And I can Helping Hand and Rock Slide. There we go. And I feel pretty good. Ooh, we don't knock out the Moltres. I might lose here if I don't flinch. Come on. Come on. Ah, no. Okay, yeah, that was close. GG. All right. Let's get another one. 
I really want a belly drum with this Kamo, to be honest. It's it's become very annoying that every time. All right, yeah, we're also on low ladder, so it's a little bit weird what we're facing. Um, once again, two fairies. And what's my opportunity to belly drum here? Honestly, this isn't the worst game to try to belly drum. I can just go Kamo, Fairy on lead and hope for the best. Doing it for the video. This is more of a content play than anything. This is not an ideal play. This is a content play. Let me go ahead and bring Venusaur Torkoal in the back. So we off with Grimmsnarl Needle King. Wow, this is quite literally the worst lead I could have gotten. Go easy on me. <laughs> I haven't played in like two weeks. All right. All right. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. I should let him know that. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I could try to belly drum here. I really could. The only thing is... If it's modest, I outspeed. If it's jolly, I don't. I'm just going to go for it. And we survive because Clefairy is insane. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and worm win this thing. Maybe I protect here. Depends. Uh, no, I'll be fine. Yeah, Wormwind should do it. Did they just double reflect? Dude, I was joking when I said go easy on me. That was like, that was actually a joke. Alright, uh, we'll take it. I'll get him Venusaur here. There's the Azumarill. I do have Ooze, which should do the trick here. Uh, and I can, I mean, I should take a spirit break since it's at minus one, so I don't feel uncomfortable just sludge bombing. My main issue here is what if they thunder wave me, you know? As they scary face me, yeah, I'm not living that. Oh no, I'm still at speeding, cool. Get out of here. Nice. I think they might have meant a light screen. GG, all right. <laughs> GG, well played. Well, the double reflect was something that I would have done if I was playing, to be honest. Like, I would have made that mistake, too. I do it all the time. If you guys have not seen me go for a double <laughs> go for a double reflect, you have not been watching the channel long enough. Earth Power will do it. Yeah. All right. Let's get another one. Hopefully, I can, like... I want to see, like, a standard team, you know? That's what I want to face. As soon as I say I want to face a standard team, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Guys, I'm streaming a lot more. I'm streaming a lot more these next couple of days, so I think I might be doing some showdown streams to get this account up. Because ever since I switched to the Moxie Boosted account, not the Moxie Boosted VGC, I have not had time to actually like ladder it up. Alright. Um, this team gets annihilated by Kamo if I just lead off with it. Torkoal 2. And stack looks phenomenal. So no Venus for this game, just stack. Yeah, this team's rock. I guess it's stack attack weakness in general is really big. Like, look at that. What do they have for stack? Um, I suppose they could Quake or Close Combat with the Glacier. And Primarina, you know, it can hit stack with a water move, but if Sands up and stacks Dynamaxed, it isn't really much of an issue, especially next to Clefairian. Stack Clefairy is actually really solid. As they go P2 Gudra. I mean, I know you're going to trick room, but I think Clefairy's fine. Yeah. 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 Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> this pre marine is gone. I'm just going to say it. This pre marine is gone. Matter of fact, I could have Dynamax next turn. 
I probably could have just Dynamaxed next turn, but I'm gonna play it safe in case this uh, this Clefairy gets one shot by Primarina, like if it's Life Orb. I wanna play it safe. As they're carrying Psychic, okay. Whoa, whoa, Deagleem, okay. I figured it'd be Moonblast. Now I'm actually kind of concerned for how I'm going to win this game. Uh, I suppose my win con is get rid of Porygon 2 with a Max Knuckle. I mean, I'm outspeeding the Moltres, so... Under Trick Room, I mean. Psychic Clefairy is interesting, and wow, they're really slow Moltres. Alright, I'm just going to get in my stack attack. -a. I can just click Rock Slide now, and they have to focus down this Kamoa, so... Uh, let me Wormwind you, let me go for a Rock Slide. I should be fine. And even if, you know, Kamo goes down this turn, which it's likely going to go down. Yeah, it's likely going to go down. I'll be fine because I can get in the... Really? Okay. That's, uh, interesting. I really don't know what to say about this team. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know what I'm facing. I can go for a Yawn here versus the Gudra and just Rock Slide again, and I'm guaranteed to KO the Moltres. As long as I connect, you know. Alright. Are you carrying Quake, or are you Special Attacker? I'd prefer you to be a Special Attacker. Geyser. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I just double protect here. And then I can just click like body press and rock slide and I should be fine. Matter of fact, he's probably going to activate my weakness policy. Yeah, this is a uh, this has been quite the interesting session so far. There's the Will-O-Wisp. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and just body press this Moltres in case the Rock Slide somehow doesn't do it. I could even just Trick Room, to be honest. I think my play is to Trick Room, technically. It's a really interesting Moltres. All right, now I rock slide, body press. If I could flinch that Gudra, that'd be great. What if they protect here? I think they would just protect here, yeah. Luckily they stay asleep. The stack attack has non-existent attack. There's one more turn of rain, so if it can stay asleep for one more turn, that'd be great. Actually, Technically ideal to double protect here then. Just to play it safe. Yeah. Is there physical aqua tail? What? Alright. Uh let me click body press on the Gudra now. I don't care about the Moltres. This is this has been such a like This has been the worst endgame I've ever seen. Please give me my policy. Please, just... Okay. Not protect. Body press. Because body press rock slide will do it. And it's leftovers, so they could protect here. Okay, yeah. Gudra's gone. I just won. Cool. This has been the, the worst endgame. <laughs> I don't even know what to call this endgame. This endgame has been such a non-endgame that it's more of like an Infinity War, you know? I'm, I'm gonna show myself up. That joke was trash. Like, that's it's doing things to me. What th this game has done things to me that I don't want to remember, you know? Okay, good game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that game was. Like, I won, right? But it was still, like, strange. Dude, I. I let me face something normal. Let me face something normal today. This is the strangest showdown live in the history of showdown lives. And I guess it's, like, my rating, right? It's my rating. I could switch over to the other account, but I don't know what that rating is now. Alright. 
Uh, they get absolutely annihilated by Kamoa. Granted, I can deal with the Clefairy. But they also get absolutely annihilated by Trick Room if I get that off. I'm going to go for Trick Room here. I want to get one more Belly Drum Kamoa game in, though, before the game, or er, before this, um, this video is over. Torkoal, Venusaur, yeah. Standard Sun Room. I don't feel comfortable bringing Kamoa because I got three answers to it. And there's absolutely no way they bring all three of these Pokemon. There's no way that they bring Tyranitar, Metagross, and Rhyperior to this game. Their ground weakness is really bad, too. You know what I might do? I think I should just let off Venusaur. Hmm. I'm going to double protect here. Because they should just fake out and, like, Stomping Tantrum. Or High Horsepower. They don't fake out. Are you going to trick room? Cool. Um, I have no idea why you would do that. So follow me. Give me your jinx. Are you sash? Yeah, you're sash. Good. What'd they go for? Lovely kiss. Clefairy avoids. Cool. Uh, follow me again. Max Steel Spike again, and then on this next turn... Wait a second. When did my policy go off? Oh, that previous turn, I'm an idiot. Alright, cool. Um, now I can just Helping Hand and knock you out, probably. <laughs> probably can just Helping Hand knock you out. Where's the Metagross? Yeah, I'm not concerned. Um, helping Hand, Max Steel Spike. Bullet Punch, interesting. You're gone. I think I just win. Naganadel. They really brought Metagross, Rhyperior, and Naganadel. I guess I like said Tyranitar is the thing that they're not going to bring, but... I figured they would at least, like, bring Whimsicott to this matchup. Uh, anyways, Helping Hand, Rock Slide, cool, getting the Torkoal, gonna Trick Room here, I don't think they have anything to stop my Trick Room, Naganadel doesn't knock out Stack Attack unless it's carrying, like, Heat Wave, they would have to, like, Heat Wave and Stopping Tantrum. And I don't think they ignored the Torkoal here, so I think they're going to stop me Tantrum my Torkoal. Thunderbolt. Ow. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me go for the Eruption and the Gyro Ball, and that'll be game. All right. Rock Slide. Cool. I want to get one more Belly Drum Kamoa game in. I feel really bad that we haven't gotten a Belly Drum Kamoa game that, like, was solid. Okay. Well, this isn't the ideal Belly Drum Kamoa game, but I will say it's viable. I will say this is a viable Belly Drum Kamoa game. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Uh, definitely stack attack a Torkoal game. I could bring Venusaur. But I don't want to, you know? Yeah. Uh, my hope here is that they just don't lead off with Lapras or Whimsicott. And they just let me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I want to end off this video. This is a content play. Once again, I'm making a content play. There's the Umbreon and the Rillaboom. Okay. All right. Just like don't foul play, I guess. <laughs> just like don't foul play. And uh, I guess I'll follow me because there's really no other thing to press. I could protect, right? But 
I don't care. I don't care. There's the fake out. Are you gonna, are you actually gonna foul play? Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Not now, not like this. Okay. Well, that's awful. That is awful, I must admit. So I'm not gonna Dynamax here. I will get rid of this Umbreon though. I will get rid of this Umbreon. And uh, I suppose I protect here. Cool, you're off the field. I, I realistically could stay on the field. I realistically don't have to switch out yet. There's a Lapras. Yeah, I'm not gonna Dynamax, but I will follow me and attempt to Drain Punch this thing. I'm max defense, so I should be able to take a hit from this thing. Grassy Glide, come on. Max Resonance. Ooh, I'm really playing it. I'm really playing it like in the, the worst possible way here. Um, I could try to wake up. My win con though would be to just wake up this turn, but I could also very realistically just trick room here and end up winning with stack Torkoal. So I'm gonna go, I'm just, I'm not gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Drain Punch and try to trick room. Because I should always take a high horsepower from Rillaboom if they're carrying it. As they Grassy Glide, I don't wake up. That's all right. Here we go. And uh, Lapras is probably just going to give me my weakness policy. I'll go for the Eruption here, as well as the Max Steel Spike into the Rillaboom. Alright, suppose I would just Max Steel Spike the uh, Lapras since Rillaboom's going to go down regardless, or it's going to protect. And I know that Max Rockfall is super effective, but I don't want to get rid of the Sun, which would always allow me to live this, this water move here. Okay, or just <laughs> they can knock out my Torkoal. Please don't be Urshifu. Literally anything but Urshifu right now. Oh no. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Um... If he gives me my policy of the close combat, my play is to rock fall here, which will break his sash, and then next turn I steal spike to KO. Oh yeah, we're good. Let me go over the steel spike, and I always just win. Cool. <laughs> nice. Um, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. We'll do one more video or one more battle because I really want to go for the belly drum to come all. Like I really, really do. Okay, uh, we're facing standard Cole. Standard Cole isn't awful for this matchup. It is much better with Venusaur though, I will admit. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. I really am. I'm just going to go for it. I don't care if I lose this one. This is a content play once more. We are going for the content plays. You too. Okay. This did not this did not work out for me. Uh what I could do here is cause they're just gonna fake out the Clefairy. And you go for the max uh go for the max. Yikes, this is really bad. I think I just lose this one on lead. I could attempt to sack the Venusaur and protect here. As they plot. Okay. So if they're weakness policy, it depends if they're safety goggles or weakness policy. I'm going to go ahead and sleep powder here and uh, get in the Torkoal. So they protect. They're just going to fake out next turn. And 
in which case I could... I think I just eruption this turn. Well, it depends who they're going to fake out, because they could fake out my Venusaur and then knock it out, or they could fake out the Venusaur and go for damage. I'm going to try this. I'm going to ooze and eruption. The airstream the Torkoal. Let me do this. Max guard, protect. Because they're just going to fake out the Clefairy here. And then next turn, I should be outspeeding it, right? 264. What's 156 times 1.5? Please excuse me while I do math that I should be able to do in my head times 1.5 in images nice 234 yeah I'm faster oh they max airstream the correct Pokemon though all right so I kind of have to follow me here Vine Lash, let me do some math. So 90 times 1.5 is uh, 135. Vine Lash times 1.5. Let's round it down to 180. So 180 plus 90 divided by 2. That is 27135 still, and I get residual damage. We're going to do that. So these should be doing similar amounts as long as I don't get KO by this unit or by this uh, incinerer so you get a berserk boost oh we live cool cool that's awesome and I believe they go down next turn the only issue is uh <laughs> they can just air slash me here's what I'm gonna do here's what I'm gonna do and you, you guys might think it, it's idiotic and it really is it really is I'm just gonna belly drum. See, so fiery wrath me. It really comes down to what's in the back now. Wait, it's Rillaboom. <laughs> All right. They go down this turn. Wow, I am, I am just, I just lose, don't I? That depends if they fake out. Let me drain punch this incinerer. Oh, okay, okay. There's the Urshifu water. My play here is going to be drain punch the Urshifu water. Hope I love a close combat. I don't. Yeah, GG. Unfortunate. Like I said, that was mo that was mainly just to try to get the the third belly drum off, but it's whatever. I still think this is a solid team. I, I think it's a solid team. We had some pretty interesting games to say the least, but uh, I'm gonna be taking it to a. I don't remember if it's a charity tournament or just a for fun tournament, but I'm competing in the in a tournament soon and I'm going to use this team. So, yeah, uh, I'll be going live and using this team on cartridge tonight at around either 5 or 6 p.m. I'm trying to figure out what my new streaming time is. But yeah, I'll see you guys around then. Have a nice night. Bye.